This is a oh, an Apple Lenovo Chromebook. So this this is an idea. There's a Lenovo Idea Pad Three Chrome, fifteen UL five. All right. So let's talk about how to get it apart here. What size torques we got here? This is a more than likely these are T5s, which they are. So they're T5 torques, and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, and then this should just come apart. Pretty simple, straightforward. Then inside we got our battery, and then I'm gonna have to take this apart a little bit more to look at it, but the reason this is in is because of the DC jack, or it's a type A, or excuse me, it's a type C port. So we can't get Let's just say it's seen better days. We're gonna take this apart, see how difficult it's gonna be to actually replace that. Yeah, this thing's got liquid damage all over it. There's rust everywhere. And to get the motherboard out, which is something you should in theory never have to do. Looks like there's gonna be... Yes, yeah, so it's supposed to have that rat rod look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then eight screws. And this guy should come right out. So there's a bunch more damage on this board. I'm just I'm gonna have to tell them that this is not gonna be worth fixing. This is part two of this. This is that um, the Lenovo IdeaPad Chrome. We got the motherboard in a replacement here. And they're really letting you know. Just keep your phone out. You're going to be getting evacuation notices all day. This one looks like it's in much better shape. Alright, so. Once we have... This, out, this is on the top, this is on the top, this is on the bottom... Nope, all of this stuff is on the top. So, as we're putting this back in here, we just got to make sure that all of these cables that I'm putting in here end up on the top of the motherboard and not sitting underneath the motherboard. So, like this cable right here, just tries to sneak its way underneath there. That one. So, we got all those. This guy. That should be all of them, and then we just need to just, you know, get this thing actually into place. One, two, three. And then we, where's that metal plate? Oh, that metal plate didn't come off. Interesting. All right. What would be possibly holding this up? Should be nothing. Metal plate goes here. And we we'll just go ahead and screw that this 
Yeah, it's a common thing. Like, you forget that they're there. So just making sure that all of the connectors that are visible have a cable that's going to go into them is important. That is not great. Some water damage, as you can see. Want to make sure that at worst this thing isn't bridged and you know you don't have to go through and actually replace this whole thing. Well, it looks fine. And then we're going to slowly put these connectors back in one at a time, making sure that they're all the way seated correctly. And then, yeah. And speakers. And then we gotta plug in these Wi Fi cables. take out all of the I put I had put all the screws back in for the base so that I wouldn't lose them. I'm just going to go through and we're going to remove them all. And then we're going to put the base on, but we're not going to put the screws on. We're going to put the base on just so we can make sure that everything is actively working. So, before you close up a laptop generally, you want to make sure that everything is actually working and powering on. Otherwise, like, you know, you have problems. All right. So all we're gonna do is we're just gonna set that like that. Flip this over. It's more than likely the battery on this is dead. Take our Type-C power cable here. We have a charge light. And we have, we have life in the computer once again. So we'll get these screws put back in to the bottom of this and we'll we'll hold on to this because I'm gonna you know do some practice soldering on this to get to get some of this off now that I know the temperature this solder is supposed to melt at and I can hold on to this board for some of the other components that this board might like actually be useful for and kind of go from there There we go. My only concern at this point is that this is going to have someone else's information into it and we're not going to be able to use this. So, this battery is dead dead. Alright, so we'll just give it some time. We'll let them take it home and charge it, and then we'll, if they have any other issues, like it might need a battery replacement, they can bring it back. So let's go ahead and get this back together. Get these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws back installed, and get this guy out of here. Hey, thanks for watching that video. Uh, you can check out some of the other videos for more tech-related content. And if you want to catch me live, I am on Twitch at twitch.tv slash specvengeance, Monday through Friday, from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so come hang out, chat, and maybe learn a thing or two.